What's going on guys, Dilby here, and today I'm bringing my 60 stamina S Clash Sabo Dragon Flight. Um, Sabo is probably one of the hardest raids in global to date. He's up there with like Kizuru and, Ak and Akainu, so just when you're making these teams, uh, when you're making your teams, just remember if you can't beat him or if you have to spend a gem to beat him, just get your one copy because he is amazing for free to play and like for clearing forest, he's essential he's essential let's just leave it at that um especially with like zombie teams uh, i'm using a double fujitora team in this video uh it's not fast at all but it is um safe so there's no way you are, you're not able to beat him and with this team you're able to stall for your uh, for your akainu special 100 percent um getting if, as long as you're that's that is as long as you have a few special ups you might if even if you don't have a few special ups if you're careful and manage to um, stall out each single, like each room to the maximum you possibly can, then yeah, you, you'll be able to get your one copy without spinning a gem. Or if, if you really want to farm that way, you can uh, farm that way as well. Um, Sabo is an awesome, awesome unit. He goes down to 14 turns. So that is if you if you want to max him, it's 80 copies. If you if you want to be safe, go for 85. That's what I'm going to try and go for. But I'm probably not going to do it. I wasn't able to max my Akainu, as you can see. But uh, that's just because I got, like, I got really tired and uni was a thing that I had to uh, <laughs> go to bed for. Um, okay, so Sabo's Captain Billy is boosts attack of free spirit characters by 3.5 following a chain of good, great, perfect. So basically the same as Log Luffy, but for free spirit characters only. And his special deals random typeless damage to all enemies for two turns. Every attacking character gets 55 times Sabo's attack as additional typeless bonus damage if you hit no lower than good. So that he just adds his attack, 55 times his attack on top of the uh, your character's own attack or own damage um, up after you use his special, which is really, really, really good. Extra damage can only be boosted by conditional boosters. The random damage is between roughly like 10 and 30k. So it's it's really, really good special. And that's why it's so good in zombie teams, because it gives them that power boost that you need. Um, as you can see, all I'm doing is basically taking out the max stall so I can get both my uh, Fujitori specials up and my Akainu special up. Uh, other than that, it's the hardest room is either room is room 1, if you can't manage to get kill enough of the characters, you will die. And room 4, you, in this room, which I didn't do because I was basically AFK farming watching YouTube at the same time. Uh, I wasn't stalling for tandem and recovery orbs because once you go into room 4 they will shuffle your orbs all to negative unless you have tandem and recovery since they don't have a negative effect. And that is so good with this team because it allows you to take out uh, take out that room really easy because Fujitora counts tandem and recovery as matching. The, okay, as you can see I don't stall for that and I have to stall out <laughs> the turn the locked or the locked negative orbs but that's why you're in golden pound usopp okay i'll elaborate more now that i'm in the room okay once you reach the room they're obviously going to do their, their shuffle what you want to do is use your golden pound special first and then if you did what i did and didn't stall correctly like you didn't save orbs make sure you just do as much damage as you can to all the guys because they will do an effect, each one of them will do a, an effect where they will cut your HP, no, well not cut your HP, they'll do like a certain amount of damage and then they'll also attack afterwards and all three of them will do it on the same turn and that'll basically wipe you out. And if you let the penguin get down to one turn before he attacks, he'll add the super penguin defense which is huge. So just be careful of that. So yeah, now I've got a couple of magic orbs. I'll be able to take, it out, take out the guys. Uh, they can be a bit pain in the ass, especially for, for using a log loopy team because the great barriers are a pain in the ass to get past. And the perfect barrier, you, you obviously want to use gear 3 over, uh, over uh, what's it called? Log loopy, because you can hit all the perfects. I mean, if you do great perfect first. Okay, as you can see, this is what this is what they do. They'll use a special which will deal damage and then they'll attack you as well. So if you hadn't let all three of them do that, you would have been taken out. And just take your time. Uh, I think I take, yeah, I take an extra turn to stall just in case. I think. Oh no, I do beat it. Sorry, I recorded this five minutes ago. 
<laughs> As you'll see, I'm missing a lot of my perfects because I um <laughs> I've to hit perfects. It's really hard with like I've, the way I hold my phone. There's a cord coming out the bottom, so it's really awkward to hold. So yeah, and then basically just use all your specials. Akainu will change all strength characters' orbs to strength, and then boost the orb affinity so that, that y they will do more damage. And it's really good because Sabo cuts your cuts. It adds a um, chain limiter. So, and with the Fujitora special cutting his HP, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's pretty. It's pretty easy. And there is no way you're not taking him out in the first turn. You could probably do without Akainu and bring someone else if you really wanted to. And that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. I'll see you guys next time. My phone has died. <laughs> see you guys next time.